Okay, folks, what you're seeing, yeah, that's a warehouse right there. Don't know much how you can see it, but you will see it later on when I get closer. What you see here is where exactly I walked. It's dirty, it's a filthy road like this. And this whole hill here is, I understand according to him alone, is what the mama gave him. You're going to see once I get across the uh, a hill uh, from a gentleman who later, just later once I get across the hill, assaulted me. Now, the first time I was here, you're talking about probably year 2001. Yeah, I would say 2001. Uh, 2000. 2001. It was with the Chris Colorado. We will walk through here. I tell you what, straight I'm going to tell you. You're going to see the houses when I get across the hill. There was none. There was none. And now the streets grew up over there once I get across this hill. You're going to see everything. This was recorded on a Tuesday, on July the 28th of 2020. Individual involved in this uh, mess, I'm now on the top of the hill, is at the center that you see right there, that's Matka Polka. And this is an individual where I'm going to get attacked in a little bit, uh, just as I proceed. There is a warehouse I am actually heading. This is a new warehouse. They have built and it's a warehouse from Amazon right there, Jeff Bezos. So now as I proceed, Let's see this thing here. There was no houses. There was nothing here in 2000, even probably 2001. Then what happened was this general was the first one he started to build. Everything you see right in front of you, he started to construction. He started to build this stuff. There was just on the something on this property, I think an object, something like this, one of the one building, something like this, small thing. And around this house, there was absolutely nothing. There was nothing on, 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 on the house. There was absolutely nothing. So now what happens is we used to walk straight through here, even after he raised the house. There was no house here. Uh, all the household, the street, entire street over there, all this, it all grew up sometimes after 2001, 2002. Um, they would allow us to go through, uh, but he became friendly with Chris. He became friendly with Americans. Eventually, he struck the deal. Sometimes, I think, I estimate in 2008, 2010, they helped him somehow. I don't know what uh, he became. He began to financially well expand. And sooner than not, he became ambitious in all the wrong ways, I would say. Sometimes in 2010, this man promised me what you see right there is going to be actually video recorded that he and the police have made a deal with the government for a literally a physical attack that I would go through here. Uh, the gate really, he left one open. Uh, it felt like you would go through that you're going to meet somebody an old friend something like this that first of all i did not even count i'm going to meet anybody the gate was open i walked straight through the gate and i was going to exit in the back of the gate just like we used to do when i was here with americans but this time this was just not the case um the individual was just completely unwilling to speak to me. This is what I was told is going to be everything recorded, the incident you are about to see, right from this Matka Polka Center. And it did just happen so, something else that I would deserve to release in some other video, not on this one, uh, that I actually got a serious follow-up on an incident and in this international confirmation about the whole thing really being recorded that day. A warehouse to see right there, yes. Became completely dismissive, begun to threaten. I did not even ask him to open the gate for me. Once he started to yell at me, the only thing I did, I complied with what he said and I started to depart the property toward the exit. Basically the same way I came into the property 
I did exiting the property the same way. Ultra became a very good friend with a police officer who is investigating uh, a vehicle of mine. This is, this is investigating police officer whom the state prosecutor have given the case, which I reported to the police. Uh, how long ago was this? Four months? Like four months at least, I'm going to say. A police officer who I have never heard from. Yes, I'm still basically paying for everything and it's individual I have never heard from. Uh, the insurance, everything, the car is not being used the way I want unless I'm using one, unless I have to use something. Uh, but other than that, it sits over there parked without use of any kind. Uh, this individual befriended, both befriended each other sometimes in 2010 and this police officer who was in charge for everything about me, basically a case, a management officer for my MK Ultra case in Luach area, uh, make a deal, uh, make deal with this individual on a physical confrontation in the future. And they have a total schizophrenia, schizoia going on during MK Ultra. Uh, they would orchestrate, he got me inside of the house. I don't know what year was it, maybe in 2013, the latest, something like this. Uh, with the police, uh, they, they will never get him and this and that and promise me a physical confrontation is going to dress himself just the way you see it. Taller than myself individual, taller and chunky individual. Um, that he's going to have a physical fight with me no matter what. Have eventually even demonstrated me on a bag on how he's going to beat me up with this based from the hole uh, which you are about to see next uh, once he assaulted me for the third time he assaulted me once at the gate once i exited the gate he did not only follow me but he started to push me over there at the gate that's number one number two you are about to see he pushed the telephone he keep following me outside of the gate he kicked the telephone out of my hands um, it's when I placed the backpack down and I took the glasses off. Um, I was going to really return him the favor. Uh, that's when he went for a hole, basically for the base from the hole. And he started to rush after me again with the base of the hole as I was distancing myself even further from the property. Um, I do have an audio recording for everything stated here. I will file the police report against the police officer investigating my vehicle as well as against this individual because two work together. Uh, that's all I'm going to do so far. We're going to go from there. Today is July the 31st of 2020 and what you see right there took place during my job search on what was Tuesday, July the 28th of 2020. How about that? A little action. Yeah, he was waving the hole, the base on the hole, threatening to hit me with it. And I also became determined that I'm going to take this from his hands, if that's what it takes, and use it against him the way he wanted to use against me. I did not comply, I did not run, and that's why I say that this was a very, very close call to what could probably, I'm going to say, end with a fatality. That's why I'm going to charge the investigating officer, police officer from Lodge, who investigates my car, whom I haven't trusted my case with a car, actually who's state prosecutor designated one as investigating officer of my vehicle, uh, with a murder attempt. And I will do the same with this individual. I'm going to have a police investigate this thing thoroughly. We're going to go like this for this matter. The individual while on his property also assaulted me based on my whereabouts, where I'm from. Uh, we could say that he engaged in ethnic discrimination, uh, insisted I should get lost out of the pond for not even giving a reason of any kind whatsoever. 
Uh, I'm not going to say that he was not communicative. I was trying to communicate with him in a civilized, polite way, but it was just no way. I would just be quiet. I was just leaving the property. I didn't want to say anything until I actually exited the property. That's when I stopped. I said, stop. Stop with this verbal assault. No more. I'm not on your property. Get lost. Don't follow me. Don't stalk me. Uh, so this is what elections of 2020 have repeated, basically. This is what Andre Duda continues to do. This is what he got to be elected for again. So this is what Pauls voted for in 2020. So we're going to go from there. It's what also Duda anticipated is going to get me out of the lodge. Because through this case, as you see, Matka Polka is right there. He tried to affiliate the whole thing with psychiatrists, with the field of psychiatry. And he anticipated me uh, to take a strong stand against the Polish psychiatry and so on. So this is going to be a really, really interesting case. Uh, I want to see who wants to um, let's just leave it like this and we're going to go here and the next thing during the weekend I'll go ahead and I'll release the whole audio about uh, this kind of dealings so as you see on Thursday I was again assaulted verbally right here just have spoken to the owner uh, who told me no you don't have to move uh, on the Saturday just yesterday, I'm going to release the audio. I was verbally assaulted here by the people uh, demanding me out by the Saturday, by tomorrow. They actually give me a deadline at 12 o'clock and stuff like this. One individual claimed that he is designated, that he's a deputy here of the landlord and stuff like that. Who already is in Katowice, actually in Krakow right now, he told me, as I spoke to him on the phone, <laughs> Uh, they anticipated me to go uh, out of the Poland uh, eventually through the Krakow, through the Katowice and stuff like this. That stuff then is related already to other issues such as Israel uh, and so on and so forth. Something I'm not going to get into. Uh, for right now, what is important for me is for the Polish voters to... Uh, see precisely what they have voted for in 2020. <laughs> This is a business for Polsku. This guy promised me on the MKR for this experience. Uh, he did have a gate open, but this isn't him doing the shit, not even this. You have again a hospital, and it's what I was told. They're going to be filming this literally from the hospital. This is not isolated incident. Keep in mind, in 2019, an individual with whom I was compelled in staying in Grotnikach, uh, roommate Hassan also had used something against me. He would run after me with knife, completely unprovoked. He attacked me. And when I verbally answered to him in the same way he did to me, he pulled the knife out and he ran after me with a knife. This situation, however, was way more serious. In this situation here, this is on an open field. Anything possible could happen. Not only the individual waved this thing at me. He threatened, he waved that thing at me that he's going to hit me with this thing, that he's going to beat me up. And it's something he demonstrated on my Ultra, how good he is at punching whatever he was throwing his, uh, whatever he was punching yeah, he demonstrated on MK Ultra uh, how he's gonna do this with me, how what he's gonna what he can do and stuff like that. It's also myself that if he would touch me with that thing, and most likely I would get a hold of that base from the hole. Believe me, I would use one to the full potential. It go both ways. 
you don't do, you don't cross the line. There is a line you don't cross. This is the line you cross, you cross too far with it. This I no longer see is a form of assistance. I rather see this as a form of threat, basically getting me attempt to get me out of. See the stuff I'm doing right now instead of job search. I basically have thrown the money away on what you see here instead of job search. I don't even want to go to issues what was done to me and who was done, but it's time for the police to investigate police. It doesn't work like this. It can't go on like this. Uh, police is out there to do the police job. This is what is expected of police. If they were to be part of this post anti ultra period of something, then they should grant assistance, not organize uh, stuff like this. You see, basically, if I have in my underwear, if I have balls or not, this is just like a test, uh, something like this in that sense. Who's gonna what? Is he gonna be? It's what I was told, I was promised, bullied under MK ultra that I'm gonna be running running for my life away from this property and stuff like this. I did not run, not only from this property, no, I'm going to run from Luj. I'm going to stand my ground against the police in Luj the same way I did against this individual in this property. Now, this case will be reported. A police officer, investigating police officer, as well as this individual, will be reported to the police, which investigates police. That's the way it is. Today is just July the 31st of 2020. The next I'll go ahead and I'll release an audio, entire audio about what took place that day. I was not the only person who showed the finger that day, but I was first, definitely was first. Yair Netanyahu hurried after my pointing a middle finger when passing by of the Matka Polka uh, at the center because I knew they filmed this news appeared well if I go a little further in details did Polish police including with the landlords I believe also Buckingham Palace in Berlin and all other assistants including Mr. Donald Trump anticipated very much to get me into a Krakow Katowice area through the Polish psychiatry and this straight to what you see here upon re-election of Andrzej Duda you see this is where things get really really complicated because I think they're bribed by Israel alone from day one did Israel use a Buckingham Palace to literally get me compel me into Israel that's number one I have to state here the second they have used entire european diplomacy and aristocracy to shut me doors in front of the courts and basically make my life close to impossible through the mentioned people here in europe and they anticipated for something like this to come to israel it's not going to happen 